We've made it to Benidorm, baby! So yeah, if you caught that, we've just hit Benidorm. We've left... Calp. This morning. Well, I say this morning, lunchtime. We left at lunch. We stopped off. We went into Lidl's. We grabbed some food. We stopped and ate it in a car park, basically. And rather than stay the night there, we decided we were going to head down to Benidorm and see if we could find a park up. None of us have been to Benidorm before and didn't know what to expect. But let me just say, there's a lot of palm trees and a lot of high-rise buildings. Check this out. Yeah, it's busy, isn't it? Real busy. The roads are cool, though. I do like the roads. But that is a lot of high-rise buildings. I was like, I don't know what, to be honest, I don't know really what I did expect. After seeing kelp, I was expecting a few more high-rise buildings. But yeah, this place is busy, busy. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Obviously, you hear the stories about Benidorm. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't we, Jazz? Yeah, so but, maybe it's like Blackpool of Britain type yeah, thing. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm expecting. Yeah. But I think... Maybe, I don't think we're gonna stay here tonight. I think if we can just go in and be a day tourist. Yeah. Just, you know, to say we've been to Benidorm and see, get a feel in it. If we like, like it. Yeah. Then we'll stay the night. And if we're not feeling it, we'll move on. Cause we find these kind of places for us can be, they're either very hit and miss. So like Blackpool, again, sometimes we go to Blackpool is hit. Sometimes we go there and it's a mess. So. Yeah, this place is absolutely crawling with people. To be honest as well, we did phone ahead and see if there was any campsites here, because I'm not sure. In the cities, I don't really like using the airs as much. I always worry about security and stuff like that. And we also mentioned that we missed out Valencia because of theft and stuff that had been reported recently. So it kind of makes us quite nervous, doesn't it? I'd rather leave the van in a secure campsite. When you're in big cities. In big yeah. cities, yeah. yeah. And also, with the big city thing, I think like when we take the children around the city, I'm quite nervous. I like to have them like really, really close because you just never know. And then it's nice to be able to go back to a campsite of an evening then and let them have a swim in a pool or let them have that little bit of running around time because obviously they've been quite secure during the day, if that makes sense. So yeah, we'll see, isn't it? The prices were quite price. Well, it yeah. was quite expensive. I think, on, if I was to be honest with you, love, I think this is going to be a day trip. To yeah. say we've been to Benidorm, we've seen Benidorm. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll move on yeah. later today. I'll tell you what I will say is it's nice and clean. Yeah, it's well maintained. There's no rubbish lying around. Maintenance looks good. It's nice and clean. Mind you, we can say that about everywhere we've been though. It's all been clean. It has been actually. It's been really nice. It has been really clean. But that's one thing I like about Spain. They have bins accessible everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, there's no excuse to throw rubbish in the ground if yeah, there's yeah, a bin yeah. available. Yeah. And that's something that Britain are that's really true. rubbish at. There are, and they're like those big bins on all the corners and that, where, you know, like the bit top lid ones, yeah. massive. Yeah. Right, so we found a parking spot. We are a 10 minute walk to the <laughs> seafront, so we're gonna take a walk down and have a look, are we? I can't believe you got a parking space after all of that. Yeah, you'd be all right. We're only gonna be about an hour or two. Yeah, Just... I hope you put all your security on. Yeah, so all my security's on. We have a steering wheel lock which is on, the immobilizer and alarm is on, and we have um, a 24 hour monitor tracker, so the security's pretty good, oh, and a clutch lock as well. Oh, right, okay, as long as we're all sorted, don't Yeah, it? she's good. Right, 10 minutes this way. Pizzas. <laughs> God, roast has me. Ruled by your belly. Yeah. <laughs> He's the king of Scotland. I don't know, love, do you know? Jinx Bond. Oh, there's a motorcycle behind us and I'm in the road. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at this place. That's crazy. I think we go this way. So this is why everywhere else in Spain right now is quiet. Because everyone seems to be in Benidorm. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite bustling actually. Yeah. There's a promenade, it's siesta time, and it's heaving. There's people in pubs, bars, eating in restaurants, just having a nice walk. They've got lights up ahead. The place is busy. So God forbid what this will be like tonight, love. Oh, I'll be heaving. <laughs> so yeah, lots of high-rise buildings. I'm just gonna give you a bit of a show. Yes, inflatables. Bye. 
Um, Can we get one of these, Stu? I want a donut! Oh, look at that! 12 euros for that huge thing. Mum, can I have this donut? 6.90 for that one. I want a donut! Oh, look, they've got the flamingo in there. Flamingo. Unicorns! I have the flamingo. Let's ask Daddy, shall we? Yeah, I want the flamingo. Say, and we want buckets and spades. Spade, yep, we're gonna get no, some of these. Can I choose my own? Yeah. I'm gonna choose this one. Nice, okay, babe. So Happy with that, babe? Yes. <laughs> and I can also hold it from the top because it's shaped, so I can just hold it. Nice. We'll get that out in a bit, is it? Yeah. And the boys got themselves some new sliders. Yeah. Finally, boys. What did you say, babe? Could you get used to this? Yeah. Who doesn't love the sunshine beating down on their heads? The sea, beautiful sea. And we were naughty, we just went back in the shop to me Mills and got a towel. Yep, a bird stepped here. <laughs> I smelt it. Come on then, quick, let's go and set up. Mom, where Stu's gone walking up the promenade, so I've left him go and explore. Yeah. And we're going to have a little play in the water, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> Great, you mate. <laughs> oh, this is wicked. I love seeing the kids playing in the water. We're heading back to the van now. We let the kids have a little swim in the sea and a play in the sand. Took a little walk along the promenade. It is mostly bars and restaurants. A lot of people having a good time, which is nice to see. Sun shining. Very pretty place. A lot of high rises. There's obviously a lot of like hotels and apartments here. So we're going to head back to the van and carry our journey west. So after leaving Benidorm, we've come about five miles down the road and we found ourselves a nice little private park up. I say private park up because there's about three other vans here. It's at the edge of like the bottom of this rocky little road that you have to kind of, you're almost off roading to get to it. But when you get here, just look at this. The cute little secluded cove. So I'm gonna sit here, beer in hand, and just watch these waves rolling in until it gets dark. And that's me evening and there's our van galley all parked up i've created myself a little washing line just drying off the clothes that now i'll be taking in the next few minutes and pebbles is sitting amongst the pebbles oh dear so i've just um done the dinner done the dishes put everything away and all that jazz and um sue said to me how about uh, sticking the front cover on, love? And I went, oh no, it's a bit early. I like to wait a bit, you know, till the sun sets and all that. I don't want to make it obvious that we're sleeping here th this evening. <laughs> so I've just gone out to do the cover. And honestly now, right, the people, there's two vans down, have set up a proper gaze gazebo. <laughs> like, it's not a gazebo with just sticks. This is a gazebo with proper windbreakers, the lot, it's got windows. Take themselves right at home, haven't they, love? <laughs> Each to their own. It's fine, it's fine. It's just, you know, whilst I'm sitting here panicking that I'm going to be a nuisance to people by parking somewhere we shouldn't necessarily be. Just funny enough, what we worry about and then what's out there. Yeah. <laughs> I put some towels over the fence earlier on and I was like, oh my God, I'm being a real nuisance now. I'm drying my laundry in public. They've got a gazebo. Like, I haven't got anything to worry about in that case, have I? No. No. We have a van, that's it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's funny. So, as it is, at the minute, the children are in the pods. I have edited can you hear, one video. Can you hear them singing? Yeah, they're singing. Sorry, sorry. They're all singing. Right, okay. Uh, Stu has edited not one, but how many videos? I've edited one. I've edited one, proofed it, produced it, uploaded it. 
I'm working on the second one. Yeah, and in one night. Do you know what else he needs to work on? Bless his heart. What's that? The one, <laughs> all the white chalk you've got round your mouth, on your cheeks. You look like a clown. Oh. <laughs> Someone bought me a birthday gobstopper and Ma it's taken me ages to do my head in. So I've resorted to biting it. It's become a cube. Yeah, it is a cube. Do you know what? That's the best five I've ever spent, guys, right? Yeah, that it's kept me quiet for how long? Hours. <laughs> well played, Mrs. Yeah. Well when played. he's driving down the motorway, he's sucking on it. When he's sitting in the red tin, the he's sucking on is. it. The gobstopper. Yeah. 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 So anyway, he's going to finish this video tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're planning to move on. This site has been absolutely... I say site. This park up has been absolutely lovely. It's literally on the beach. And uh, we're waiting to see another sunrise in the morning. Well, I tell you what, if you stick around, we'll pick you up in the morning and we'll bloody well show you. <laughs> Good idea. Okay, bye. <laughs> so what a nice little park up again. As you might have noticed, we're enjoying these sea view park ups. You just get that nice little breeze, the beautiful sunrises. That's what it is. I'm trying to see every sunrise on the east coast that I possibly can before it's gone <laughs> yeah. forever. We're from the west coast, so yeah. we're used to sunsets, not the sunrises. Yeah. And I just can't get enough of them at the moment. No, can you? they are fantastic. And what's great about this fan, can we just show right? Just there. A little pee hole. So I was lying in bed this morning and pushed that across, and I was watching a sunrise. Well, until Pebbles figured out there's a peep hole as well, and then he had his head hanging out of it, and I couldn't see nothing. But it's a great idea. So if you're building a van and you want to go to Europe, get one. A little peep hole. <laughs> get a peep hole on the bed so you can peep out the yeah. cute little sunsets yeah. and sunrises in the morning. Brilliant. Well, you're not going to get a sunset in the morning, but you get the drift. Yeah. But <laughs> sorry. Go on. So we're going to pack our stuff up now. We're going to hit the road. It's gone lunchtime, so we've had a proper lazy morning, haven't we? To be honest with you, I'd be more than happy to stay here again. It's I would have done two, three days here. It's yeah, just it's a, like a private little beach cove type thing. There's a couple of fishermen over there, um, and we've had some other campers to the right of us, and they've basically set up a gazebo. So they're... Right here there. for I don't know how long. See if we can show you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last night they had windows on it. It was it was brilliant when I was laughing yeah, it was when I funny. saw it. But yeah. We're gonna head west. Yeah. We're gonna hit the road. We we want to go sort of Alicante direction now, don't we? Yes. Yes. But yeah, absolutely lovely stopover. If you can get down here in your van, highly recommend. Just even if you do one night or even stop for lunch, just something. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. It's lovely. peaceful. Yeah. Right. Come we on go then. then, sorry, I'm still yakking, okay, I'm going. We're just pulling up to our uh, stopover for the evening. I've just noticed there's an air here as well. Quite a few motorhomes pulled up just there. So I'm not sure what that one is, that's not where we're staying, but if you're near Alicante and you're looking for somewhere, that might be somewhere good. We're going a little bit further up, about a mile away. See so if we can find some sea in there. Yes. Because he loves to be besides the well, why, seaside. Why break the theme, innit? <laughs> this is called Santa Pola. So we're all just pitched up now at our park up. We've just got up onto the ramps and I've got a deal with putting all the shopping away. We've just been to Lidl's and we've all gone a bit crazy for the fruit and veg, I think. Look at the bed. Where on earth am I supposed to put all that? So I'm thinking... I'm going to have to do some organisations around here. So I'm going to use these netted things that I previously used for crisps for my fruit. I'm going to use the drawers down there uh, for crisps and biscuits and stuff like that. Just because they're quite deep drawers and they're not really being used for anything. Everything seems to be getting stuffed up in here and then it's leaving me with nowhere to put anything. Uh, when I'm trying to get my tea and coffee in the morning, I'm literally having to like put my head up on the cupboard to hold it up. I would open that, it's probably gonna, everything's gonna fall out. So I'm not gonna risk it, there's eggs in there actually. So yeah, I need to organize everything. It's looking a bit scruffy around here. On a positive note, man butt is chilling. Go, no, The sea's just there and there's a little bit of a beach walk. So I might take the kids down there after, but um, for now I'm gonna get this place sorted because it's a bit of a joke. I mean, look at it all. There's water being stashed in the bathroom. There's water here. I've got, I've got beer on the seats. I just can't, I can't cope with the mess. It's driving me nuts. So I've managed to put everything away somehow, except for this massive bag of oranges. So that's just gonna have to stay on the bed until everyone starts munching on them. 
and the spuds are out on purpose because we're going to have steak and spuds for tea otherwise I'm good I sorted out this cupboard so I know it still looks a mess but that's just because it's full okay everything is organized in there I promise it's proper organized and I've done these as well so the larder's looking a bit more presentable with our snacky snacks in there so I literally get all the fruit put away oh which is over here yeah to stop the kids constantly asking for snacks they can now see fruit and I'm hoping that's going to make them ask more for fruit and every time they're hungry I'll be like go help yourself to something to eat from the fruit baskets so anyway by the by got it all done got everything put away and then these two decide they're going to come along I go straw from there. and attack the fruit bag already so what's that you've got coconut so we bought this from Lidl's and it's a drink and eat coconut and it came with a little bamboo toothpick and a straw so me and Dexter share them he likes to drink them and then we have half each but what I liked about this one is said they give you this toothpick so you can pick a hole in the top and you can drink it and then they've done a pre-cut line all around the middle so you can bang it and get your two halves at least that's what I think it is that's what we're gonna try in it yeah. give us your straw <laughs> is that good? Yeah, and it's heavy, which means it's a lot. It's heavy, so it means it's a lot. Yeah, you usually end up chucking your milk all over the floor, don't you, when you smash it? So that's a really yeah. good idea. Enjoy! Yeah. So you can enjoy that now, that's yeah. good. I like it. Uh, we need to get these more often. That's a little Trying to break that coconut now, look. We're trying to break it on the line. We're hoping to get two nice hearts. Oh, okay. Half me and half them. Like you do when you get an Easter egg kind of thing. Yeah. Give it like a whack whack. He's having a good whack, you know. I bet you Amelia could crack that. Oh, we did. That did it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to throw my gift back in here. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts <laughs> So Dexter with, and Amelia were just down uh, on the rocks and they caught themselves a little shrimp with a tiny little beaker and these poor blokes have stood there for ages with their fishing rods trying to catch a fish and I don't think they've caught anything yet So we've just got back into the van And we caught it with a cub and his and name is called Shrimply Shrimply, I caught him because I was getting him in some water so, All right, so what yeah, are you doing and with, also you doing we're gonna feed him. Uh, we're we're going feeding him coconut. He might uh, live in the water. Okay, fast enough because I put some in already. He, Look, he's so, eating it. <laughs> he is. Yeah, I saw him eat a little piece. Yeah, you know you can't keep him in that though, right? He what? needs to go in a proper like container, or he needs to go back with his friend in the sea. Wait, mum, can we buy a container? <laughs> Probably not. Like Did a, you look? So you can keep it. You can keep him for an hour and play with him, and then you need to go and put him back. Wait, can I keep him for the night? Because you said tomorrow I could get my friend. Oh yeah, I did say that. He's going in for an hour to play, and then he goes back in the sea. Okay. Because otherwise, what will happen to him? He'll die. Right. Thank you. He got. There he is, swimming around, happy as Larry in his own seawater. And where's he going in a minute? Back to the ocean. Thank you. Good morning, we're about to go somewhere new. Mummy will tell you where. <laughs> little cutie, little vlogger in the making there. <laughs> so yeah, we stayed here last night. It was absolutely freezing when the sun went down. Yeah. It was really busy though, wasn't it, with the road? It was. There's, there's hundreds of motorhomes along this stretch. It's yeah. quite a popular sort of wild spot. But we're gonna go do some services, drop our toilet off, top up some water. Get rid of some rubbish. Get rid of some rubbish, yeah. And then we're gonna head west on our way towards Malaga. But we've got some rain coming in for a couple of days the day after tomorrow. Try and avoid it, try yeah. and avoid it. So we're gonna try and find somewhere that's nice, secluded, out of the way, and just batten down for a couple of days, chill, get yeah. through the rain until the good weather comes back in. To be fair though, we haven't actually sat anywhere for more than about 24, 48 hours. We've no. been moving constantly. I think the only two nights we've actually done in the same place so far was Benicarlo. Yeah. 
and that was literally on the beach location one that we enjoyed. That was the first we? beach location, then we yeah. realised there's lots of beach locations. Yeah. So honestly, if you're thinking of coming down and like you're like, oh, these are nice, don't worry about us sharing them. You go on park for night or search for sites, they're all on there. Just drive and go and have a look at them. Yeah. I don't think we've actually gone to one and driven off away from it, not being happy. No, exactly. They've all been lovely. So yeah, we're just gonna go and find somewhere lovely now. I'm hoping to get some sun today on my skin before that nasty rain comes yeah. in. Anyway, let's go. Let's go get rid of this rubbish and do all our biz. We've just pulled over into a town. I'm not sure of the name of, so I'm gonna check it and uh, leave a link. Uh, leave the name of it just down below. And, and, and there's a. The Adonimo's next to a KFC and a KFC next to McDonald's. <laughs> Everyone's getting a bit carried away because they can see all the fast food. We're thinking this place might have a lot of Brits because even the Lidl's is open on a Sunday and we've just spied a decathlon so we're going to go and check out and see if we can get a kayak, are we? Yeah, don't we keep going your way. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a bit of an addiction in Lidl's at the minute. They're doing these donuts. They're like the dinky donuts, but better. I think. I think they're better. That's an opinion. Sorry. They are because they are white chocolate donuts with sprinkles on top and then inside is a load of melted white chocolate and they're just amazing. They're like 80 euros. A, uh, eight, eight, naught, 80 cents. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm going to get in and get some food. We've just pulled up at our service stop. It's basically a garage so if you pay for diesel they'll let you use the services for free so your uh, water your elson that kind of thing if you're not using it then it's two euros which is pretty good it is literally just to stop off drop your waste pick up your water and then we're going to head on to our park up for the park up for this evening which is basically like a lighthouse so we're going to take you there about eight miles away from there now i'm just going to show you quickly though how the service stop looks a little bit different to those ones at home So you've got your water and everything on the front there. And then your Elson point. Oh, that looks lovely and fresh. Is there. So we're ready to go. Oh, I've had to come in. I'm a bit cold. To everything's in the shade at the minute so um i didn't stay out there too long so yeah you can do you, you can fill up your water you, you can drop your waste you can empty your bags you can empty your elson and there's also an electric point on there as well so you can plug in you know things like this have been a godsend to us so far because we've been not doing so many campsites we've done one campsite in a week and a half we found it quite expensive because they're charging yeah. per child rather than for the van you know we figured we'd just do a load of wild spots and so far we've managed to get a lot of free airs or free park ups and the biggest hurdle then is obviously services so to find something like this is fantastic so we've arrived we've managed to pull up we're off road because a lot of the motorhomes have taken all the spots up there that's why we put the big tires on so we could get ourselves into places we wouldn't normally be able to get into it is quite busy it is a beautiful view though and we've just driven up 13 kilometers of like road where it was like sea on both sides so yeah that was really pretty we've got a little sandy beach cove by here i'm going to take the kiddies down there in a little bit and they can have a bit of a play it's not as hot as where we've just been so we're between cortagena and mercia so there's basically a strip that comes straight away from the island effect spanish island effectively it just keeps coming right out so you're right in the middle of the sea so we'll get Stu to put the what three words below and uh, yeah if you're in the area do try and visit it looks really pretty although it is cloudy now the sun is trying to pop his head through so it's uh, gonna be a nice one I think what's going on here we're gonna prank mum and see I've lost her oh I think she'll know we're gonna put a towel on her face Come on, she'll be able to breathe. I think. <laughs> I think. You good? Yes. Go ahead, put your you head down. No. Put <laughs> <laughs> my hands hurt. Wahoo! The stunt kite is out. Yeah, it should be cool. The boys are getting ready for their first flight. Yeah. Go. Hey! <laughs> I'm surprised you got it up that quick. <laughs> oh, we nearly lost it. I nearly lost my head. Down. <laughs> 